Hey guys, it's time to take a look at the official Android 8.0 Oreo. The official update is finally here so you can have it on your compatible Google device. And I have to say it has a lot of new changes, a lot of exciting things and improvements. So we'll be taking a look at performance in the upcoming videos, but this video is all about my favorite features. To come in at number one is the picture in picture mode, which is like a advanced form of video multitasking. So currently uh, we have these applications which support this kind of features. So we have YouTube, Google Chrome, and I'm sure in the future we'll see a lot of third-party support for this as well. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate this for you guys. I'm here at the Vimeo.com, which is like a video sharing website, just like YouTube, uh, playing this video. And as you can see, uh, the video is now being played. And let's say at this time, I want to do something else. I want to text someone. I'm just going to quickly go ahead and press the home button. And there you go. The picture in picture mode has begun. And now we get this little tab, which we can uh, obviously move around. And if I want to, let's say, call someone or message someone or check Instagram or check Snapchat, you know, I can do anything I want on the phone with video still playing. So it's really good if you are playing music. You know, it's just going to keep playing in the background. You're not going to have any problem. Tap on it. You get the option to expand it. So it's going to take you full screen again. And you can, of course, close it all together or move it down here. We say drag down to dismiss. Now, Google is a little bit greedy. I don't know why, but uh, this doesn't work with YouTube unless you are a YouTube Red subscriber. So uh, if you have that subscription, premium subscription, then it will work. Otherwise, it won't. Uh, if I go into Google Chrome and type YouTube.com, play any video, it doesn't work. I've tried that. I even tried out with the latest Chrome beta. Uh, same thing with the YouTube application. So it doesn't work. It will only work if you are a YouTube Red subscriber. So apart from from YouTube, you can go to any other video website and this thing will work without any problem. Now with each major Android release, Google is sort of taking features from Samsung. Like I'm not complaining, but really like if, if we look back with the Android 7.0 Nougat, got this split screen multitasking feature and this was available on Samsung phones for years. Similarly, this feature, the picture in picture mode is inspired from the pop-up view mode that we had on Samsung phones for years and best about Samsung is that this feature will work with any website including YouTube so you don't have to be a YouTube Red subscriber. Quick example for you guys um, just played a random video and if I just press this little thing as you can see it says view in pop-up player which is basically the same thing as the picture in picture mode. So you can see uh, whether it's YouTube or any other website, it will work. You don't have to pay for anything and it works flawlessly. You can move it around. Uh, you can close it or resize it. I mean, it's the same thing that Google got inspired from. And uh, again, the best part is you don't have to pay for anything. It's free. And I mean, the S8 is currently running the older Android Nougat. And this feature, I mentioned it in my review as well. So it's been there for for quite some time. It's been there before the S8. So again, I'm not complaining. I'm just glad that Google is, you know, taking good things from Samsung. So it doesn't matter which phone you have. Once you will receive the Android O update, you will get the picture in picture mode. Uh, so moving on to the next one, which is of course the notification dot. So, so if you receive notifications on your phone, you will basically get this little dot. So uh, Instagram has its own color like that matches the icon. Same thing with the Twitter, it's blue. And it's going to be the same thing with the Gmail. So if you hold on to the application icon, it will give you a preview of your notification. And another option for the application info where you can go and mess around with some, you know, permissions or you can force stop the application or even uninstall, you know, the app info tab. So definitely one of my favorite addition with the Android 8.0 Oreo. Now, speaking of the notifications, Android has always been the king of notifications. So uh, the notification tab is now better than ever. If you look at the status bar, we have the application notification icon in order. So first we have the Twitter, Instagram, then message, then Twitter. So if I swipe like this, it expands like this is so beautiful. Swiping to the left will give you two options. So first we have the settings, which will take you to more settings uh, where you can uh, take a look at some advanced option. And then we have this little clock, which is actually a snooze option, which is a new addition. So you can snooze the notifications uh, for certain applications uh, for like 15, 30 minutes or even two hours. So let's say if I do it for 30 minutes, you can even undo it if you want to. So 
Uh, I have to say, I mean, notifications are really good. Same thing if we take a quick peek at the lock screen, we have the same options here. So looks really awesome. Speaking of lock screen, we have a new additional favorite feature here uh, with the Android 8.0. So you can see double tap to check phone as well as lift to check phone. So it's related to the ambient display. If your phone is locked and you double tap the screen, it will show you that ambient display. It doesn't unlock the phone, it just shows you this. And basically from here, you can also see the notification of your app. So I have this Twitter notification and if I double tap, it just uh, wakes up the phone. It doesn't unlock, but it wakes up the phone so that I can see uh, the notification on the lock screen. From there, I can just quickly interact with my notification. Moving on to the next feature which is related to a bit of a customization that you can do uh, with your app icon so now you can quickly hold the display and go into settings and here you will see a new option for the icon shape and uh, basically these are some of the options that you have uh, so this is system default you can have square or rounded square Squircle, which is like a combination of square and circle with rounded corners. So you can see it looks really good and also changes up uh, in the app drawer itself. So that's really nice. Unfortunately, we can't add custom icons like custom icon packs. Uh, I think that was the option available in one of the betas or one of the developer previews, but I'm not too sure about that but you can see with the official version you don't get the custom option these are some of the options that google gave you uh, or you can just have it on the default other than that i just really enjoy the way uh, the notification area or quick setting area looks like it's really clean i uh, really like the white color with this i also absolutely love the way they have changed the settings so uh, not just the way it looks but also the implementation with each option so let's say if i go into display it shows me the main option option at the top and if I want to go into some advanced stuff then I can click here and it's just expand so the good thing about this is that you're not bombarded by you know options and options like it's just so easy you go into an option you get these basic options first and then if you want to go into deep stuff then you can go here click on advanced same thing with every option so I really love this I really like the storage uh, option as well the way it shows you the information uh, of how uh, how much of storage that each things are taking like photos and videos music and audio and your uh, apps and you can also go ahead and take a look at the system so you can see the system takes about 6.3 gb of data uh, so it says system includes files used to run android version 8.0 so you can't really mess these up but you can definitely go to files where it gives you uh, a full set of your application like on android of course you can access each and every file on your phone there's like a built-in file manager where you can even copy and paste things so you don't really have to install any third-party uh, file manager now and same thing with games so it uh, basically scans all the games that you have on your phone so you can you know if you want to uninstall any game then you can do that from here same thing with music and audio i don't have any music right now but it does shows me the music related application which is the google play music and same thing with the photos and videos so of course if you have any third-party application it will take you to that as well it will ask you and of course we have the smart storage which basically remove all photos and videos so so yeah guys these were my favorite top features of the android 8.0 oreo let me know in the comment section below which feature you like the most and i will see you guys in the next one Peace out.